Apple has unveiled macOS 14 Sonoma at the WWDC 2023, and it's packed with some incredible features. It adds improvements to Safari, new screen savers, better video calls, support for desktop widgets, and a lot more. I guess, though, that since I already knew some solutions for the same problems which have already existed on the market and which sometimes do even a better job, I could share my experience with you and suggest a couple of ways how you can improve your Sonoma experience even further. So let's dive into three of my favorite new features. Let's start with desktop widgets. With macOS Sonoma, widgets have received a major upgrade because you can now place them anywhere on your desktop and they even fade into the background so you can concentrate on what you're doing at the moment. Before, they were kind of hidden and I confess that I wasn't even using them. But just take a quick look at this. I've got my widgets right here on my desktop and I love having my favorite photos and the weather right here. And the widgets from your phone can also be used on your Mac if you want, as long as both devices are on the same Wi-Fi network. Now, what's not so cool is that you're basically limited to what the default Apple widgets can offer. So I've been using the app Widget Wall, which lets you customize your desktop with widgets from your favorite apps, photos, and even entire websites. Once you've downloaded it, it already adds a few suggestions for you to start with, like the weather, clock, and I really love that it automatically added cat pictures to mine. They're perfect. So once you open the app, you can choose the widgets that you want to display on your desktop, and you can even turn any website, like ChatGPT, for example, into a widget. It's a game changer for productivity. The second feature that I'm really enjoying using is web apps. It allows you to add any website to the dock as a web app, and you can simply add it from the file menu. Then you can simply launch it and get an app-like experience and even receive notifications. To personalize the web apps even further, I've downloaded Menu Bar X, which allows you to pin web pages to your menu bar. Think about it, your favorite websites are just a click away in your menu bar so you can personalize it, choose your favorite websites and add it right here. One example is that I've added NTS. You can open and bookmark as many pages as you want without slowing down your Mac, which is extremely important. And you can customize the window size, use shortcuts, and even simulate different devices. If you like it, dark mode is also available. I feel like I have a mini browser right in my menu bar, and it's very convenient. Now, I've always loved to personalize my Mac with wallpapers and screensavers, and macOS Sonoma offers incredible new screensavers. There's slow motion videos of beautiful locations worldwide, but the options are a little bit limited. So I've decided to download this app called Magic Window Air, which offers an impressive collection of over 200 high quality videos capturing breathtaking places. Let me show you the selection here. You can choose between cityscapes, countryside, naturescapes, there are a lot of options, and you can tailor your screensaver experience with overlays like clocks and countdown timers. I really enjoy having the clock overlay on my Mac, and if you want, you can even add your own videos to the collection, which of course gives your Mac a personal touch. And there you have it. I'm really happy with macOS Sonoma, and it's always amazing to find new apps to improve our experience even further, right? If you're interested in any of the apps that I've mentioned here today, you can find them all on Sad App and truly take your Sonoma experience to the next level. The links to each app are in the video description. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech updates and tips on how to make the most out of your Mac with Sad App. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.